everybody. Merry Christmas Eve. Oh my gosh. Merry Vlogmas Day 24. Um, I'm so excited to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to be filling the, the one basket I had started and then I'll take a picture of what all three baskets look like and add that to the end. Sorry, it's crazy hair day. <laughs> uh, Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, so, okay, so this is um, the first basket that I was doing that I showed you guys. I added some more flowers into the inside um, and then I did the, the outside and I finished it as I was doing all of the uh, finishing bits. I finished it with the high gloss. So that's why you can see some shine, the high gloss Mod Podge. So, um, so it's a shiny little basket. Uh, so this is this is what it it finishes like. Uh, I'm excited about the other two as well, but um, again, I'll show you those all finished up. I didn't bore you guys with video of all of that, <laughs> but one is a red Christmas uh, one is a red truck with Christmas trees in it, and the other is snowflakes. Adorable! I'm so excited about it. So I'm going to show you how to fill how I'm going to fill this. Um, so. And through, hopefully on the overhead, <laughs> you'll be able to see it. I tried to uh, put it in right. Um, so you'll you'll see the the bowl. I'm going to put these some of these crinkles in. I'm not going to put too much because um, I'm pretty sure my mom and sisters are like me. Uh, I don't like a lot of just stuff to throw out. So I'm going to try to keep this toned down a bit, um, but I want to give it some height, you know, as I'm building it. Uh, so we'll separate, like we'll zhuzh it, we'll floof it, kind of like um, batting and stuffing for uh, the stuffies. So we'll kind of do that. Yay. Uh, and then I got, I filled a mug with a little peppermint chapstick, some uh, chocolate covered cherries are down in here if you can see that one and then some Ferrero Rocher's and I'm gonna put that and then a mug merry and bright so I'm gonna put that in the basket I think like that I think that'll be cute and then I got a little ornament Santa Claus which I think I'll put towards the front and a little votive votive candle with snowflakes put that back here to hold up Santa and then I got more candy because I know my family <laughs> oh and not a rotary cutter so I will I will throw candy in here try to keep Santa Claus stood up some but I uh, got hot cocoa, Hershey Kisses, uh, peppermints, the Ghirardelli peppermint bark, and then these little peppermint patties. So I'm gonna shove all of that candy in. And there we go. So little finished, well, I think I might, I might sit down now. I'm, I've been standing to make sure I could see it being filled. So I might, I might sit down and show it to you in the front facing camera now. So let's see. Okay, I'm gonna show it. So it's a little filled little holiday basket. I'm gonna put it in a little cellophane, you know, like, and then uh, tie it with a bit ribbon. But there we go, a little holiday basket. All nice and cute, I think. But that is a fun little handmade craft, handmade-ish. I mean, I didn't make the basket itself, but I, I like what I did to it. I think it looks fun and festive, and it's just, just a fun little way to, to bring some uh, holiday cheer, I think. So that is my Christmas offerings to my mom and my sisters. Um, and I think that's fun. I would be super pleased to receive a bunch of candy. <laughs> Wouldn't even have to have anything else in it. Just give me the candy. <laughs> give me the chocolate. But yeah, I think, 
I think that's fun. So there we go. There's the, the last project of, of Vlogmas. Um, and uh, I hope that I will see you all tomorrow. No, nope, later today. Um, tomorrow is Christmas. I'm not going live on Christmas, <laughs> but later today, this morning at 11 a.m., I'm going to go on live. I'm thinking I might um, sew up the bowl cozies that I got from Fallon uh, of So Be It Quilts. I might sew that up tomorrow, but I haven't made, made up my mind, so don't hold me to that. I may just sit around and talk for an hour because it's Christmas Eve and I might not stress myself out. I might like game plan some some 2024 with everybody. Get an idea of what everybody would like to see from me in particular in 2024. I have some some ideas of what I'm going to be doing in 2024, but who knows? We'll see what I decide tomorrow. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much. I hope that this throwback craft of decoupaging might get you, uh, you know, thinking about something you would like to do um, in the in the handmade crafting world that uh, gives you a bit of a, a break from from sewing. What was nice is I was I was telling my friend Donna, um, it's not a that it's not a super fast craft because you have to give dry time in between um, so that all of the napkins don't rip. Oh, one fun part of it, I'm still finding um, Mod Podge on my fingers. So I feel like a giddy kindergartner where I'm peeling glue off of my fingers. <laughs> I'm having a good time with that. Um, so it's not a, like a super fast uh, craft, but it's not like it's taking you a long time. So I would, I would throw a base layer on, I'd put um, the, you know, base layer of the napkins on, I'd set them up to dry, move on to the next basket, move on to the next basket. Um, and as I'm, you know, letting them all the way dry, I was able to sew a little bit, maybe watch a little, you know, TV, what, whatever, just to, to chill. So it's, it's not a quick, super quick craft, but it's a laid back, take your time, super chill, would be so much fun to do with kids. Like your grandkids, your, your own kids, your nieces, your nephews, kids. It, 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 it was so much fun. And maybe, uh, maybe a smaller basket or, or I don't know, whatever you might want to decoupage. <laughs> it, it was just a lot of fun. And, and, and I think it is a, a good sharing experience. I actually had Lauren in on it with me for a little bit, uh, before they got completely bored with it. But, um, yeah, so I, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you, you do something like this. Uh, yeah, I cannot believe that this is Christmas Eve and the last, uh, Vlogmas will be tomorrow morning, but if you would be so kind, please go over and check out Quilting with Stephanie Stitches. Uh, whew, there's a cat here that just flew by. Uh, <laughs> uh, her, uh, 20, day 24 Vlogmas and Russ of Quilt Meets World. Uh, if you haven't, please go check out Sean of, of the guy who sews his trunk show. Uh, we did yesterday. Wow. What, what inspir inspiring stories, inspirational quilts. Holy cow. That was a lot of, I felt like, you know, does anybody, does everybody know about imposter syndrome? I felt like I was in, in, in incredibly talented, company and I felt like a fish out of water. It was amazing uh, listening to everybody and uh, I just feel like I learned so much from everyone. So check that out. I, I will, um, I'll link that video in, in the description below so that you guys can go check that out. The trunk show was a lot of fun. Um, and don't forget to, to take a look at mom and pop shop uh, and Steven and Walter of the Idiot Quilter uh, and Fallon of So Be It Quilts. There's just a lot of great folks out there, and I met a lot of new great folks uh, from from Sean's trunk show. So just some fun talent out there and a great community. Uh, we've got ourselves in a great group, huh? <laughs> it's a pretty cool group of quilters out here, uh, and I'm super proud to be a part of it. So Merry Christmas Eve to those of you that celebrate. Everybody, please be very, very safe no matter what you're doing. Uh, and uh, we'll see you 
later today for a quick live from 11 a.m. to noon uh, Eastern. And then tomorrow morning for a, a Merry Christmas Vlogmas. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much. Talk to you soon. Bye now.